Welcome to the Land of House YouTube channel. I'm Seth. Today I have a four inch micro hydro turbine. It's got a seven foot drop into a pool of water, spinning a three phase turbine here. And it's got a pipe that goes across here, dips into this pond to pull water from. And we're gonna be doing a couple of things today. We're gonna to see the difference between a 12 volt and a 24 volt and also I've got uh, a super cheap charge controller, and then we're also going to just see what happens if you put an MPPT on here. The MPPT is designed for solar, but we're going to give it a try and see if we can increase the potential out of this system. So, uh, you may also notice, if you've been following the channel, that there's a bridge here from the last video. My neighbor is always doing stuff, and so he added a bridge last week, <laughs> which means for us we'll have to uh, duck around here and work around it, but it looks pretty cool. Here's how today's test is going to go. We've got the three phase coming from the turbine through this wire here, goes to the rectifier, which then goes over here to this cheap PMW charge controller, and then that's going to go to this 12 volt battery, and we've got this meter here, and uh, it's connecting right here to the load. Um, so we're going to test that and see what 12 volt is. Then we're going to bring up this Bogue RV. Yikes. My uh, tools, tech, and gear shirt. I just wore it in a video and it needs to breathe. Don't worry, I'll wash that. Okay, uh, we're gonna use this MPPT charge controller. It's not meant for hydro, but we will see because it's got this meter on it. If you want the actual review on this, go to my tools, tech, and gear channel for that review. Okay. Uh, so, the first thing we're going to do is test the power with this cheap one, then we'll get it with this one, and then we'll swap over to 24 volts, and we'll see what the power is, uh, probably just with this one. Uh, the first test is just to see the power difference between the two controllers. Alright, to start this thing, I've got a really old DeWalt shop vac. Place that in there. Okay, that turns that, which means the siphon has been started. Now in the last video, a vortex was formed down over here. We'll see if that happens again. But this thing seems to be operating a lot better on this straight drop. Okay, we'll let all the air purge out of the system for a minute, and then we will connect this up to the charge controller. All right, I believe the turbine's spinning at full. Let's connect the load here. Okay. Currently, it's at 32 watts, 30 watts. Can you see that display? Let me get a little closer. So it was fluctuating between uh, 25 and 32 is what I've seen. Very cool. So let's just say it's 28 watts currently going into this 12 volt system. All right, let's swap over to the MPPT charge controller. In order to stop the system, all I do is introduce the air and kill the vacuum. And that thing will begin to slow down and then stop. I just hooked up the other charge controller, the MPPT from Bogue RV and it is showing very similar results. Uh, so it is at 25 to 28 watts coming in. Hopefully you can see it. It's a little bit uh, hard to read on the camera. I wonder if I pull this lens off. Let's try it now. Is that better? Right now it's showing about 24 watts. And if I click over here, Zero amp hours, uh, 32 degrees Celsius, uh, 13 volts on the battery, 15.4 volts coming in, 1.7 amps, let's see, yeah, 24 volt, uh, 24 watt. So it's actually showing the exact same results as the other um, PMW. This thing's not meant for doing hydro. But this other one over here is showing 31.6 watts. 
and this one's doing 24 watts. So the um, readings we were getting before are different than the one that's coming into here. All right, so with one battery, we're getting either 31 watts or 25 watts. Those will be our two readings on our different meters here. Let's go ahead and swap this system over to 24 volt and see what it's like. Now, this is my neighbor's old battery and he didn't have the nuts and bolts for this, so we're going to improvise. Don't do what I'm about to do. I'm just gonna curl some wire around these terminals and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some results. Okay, I feel like this battery from my neighbor has been sitting out for quite some time. So let's go ahead and see if it's got any kind of voltage on it. It's got a multimeter here. Uh-oh, <laughs> it's got 0.7 volts. So it is essentially dead. So this test is probably not gonna be very effective. Let's just see what we can do with it. I've got another battery over here we can try out. Well, I'm sad to say for today this test is gonna be over because this battery, when it's hooked up to the almost dead ones, um, drops down to like 11.5. This one is brought up to like two point something to make 14 or so. Um, and so it's not enough, yeah, 14.3 on this thing. So it's not enough for it to kick over into 24 volt and therefore it does not charge it because it thinks it is charged. So, <laughs> sorry, but this test is done until I find another battery that has at least uh, 12 volts on it. Well, we know that the MPPT charge controller that I bought is not designed for hydro and gave no better results than the PMW. So that's at least good to know. I'm gonna still use that charge controller on a solar project coming up. So stay tuned for that. Also, sometimes things don't work out with projects. So the uh, battery I got was uh, dead. So I'll have to find another battery so we can actually get our 24 volt test. And I think we will see better watts than 30. Um, so that's just my prediction. Thanks for watching. If you have a comment, leave that down below and stay tuned for the second part of this test where we do the comparison between 12 and 24 volt. I'm Seth Johnson with Land of House YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye. This bridge is pretty cool. I'm not sure where my neighbor gets stuff, but he is always doing things like this. That's pretty cool.